Hey guys, today we are going to do the uh, clean install for Windows 10 Falls uh, Fall Creators update on the HP Stream 7. So uh, just follow the step by step guide and you'll have the Stream 7 clean install with the Windows 10 in no time. So, so what we need to do now, the next thing that we need to do is to reboot the phone into BIOS so that we can actually do the clean install via the uh, USB that is created via the Windows Media Creation tool for you to actually clean install the machine. So let's get on with it. Okay, so before we start, we will need to make sure that we have the uh, USB hub. You need a USB hub for your USB hub for your keyboard and mouse. Of course, you need a keyboard and mouse and as well as the uh, USB for the installer USB that is created. So what we need to do now is to plug in the door via the OTG adapter like the one that I have here. So you need to actually plug it in so that you can actually control the control the USB itself. Uh, I mean like the keyboard and mouse itself. So let's get started. Once you get all the stuff connected, you would need to have the boot to BIOS itself. So what we need to do now is to press on the volume down button and the power button so that it can actually boot up to BIOS. So just press and hold it. Okay, so now you have started to BIOS itself. So what we need to do is to look for a boot device option, which is F9. So you choose F9. Okay, once you have your hard, uh, what do you call it, USB drive plugged in, you should be able to see the USB hard drive boot up for, for this. So what you need to do is just to press enter for this one, then they will boot up Windows 10 setup 32-bit, you should choose. So you just press enter on that, then they will be loading files and stuff to actually start clean installing your Windows 10. But there is one one thing that you remember, uh, your stream mini needs to be running Windows 10 prior to this. If it's not running Windows 10 prior to this, there will be issues of activating the window. As long as your stream mini is running Windows 10 before this one, you can do a clean install whenever you want it. Right? So because the li license key is actually stored with Microsoft. Okay, then the second thing it's um, Please make sure you have sufficient battery, that there's something that you need. And, and this process applies to all devices, not just the uh, Windows devices, uh, I mean like HP Stream 7. So what you need to do next is just to set the default and just go next and just do an install now. And of course after you clean install, there will be a set of drivers from HP itself that you need to install. It's for the touchscreen as well as the rotation things and as well as some audio stuff. So I will leave a link down below where you can download these drivers. So the setup is starting now, so it's running and make sure you're on full battery, like what I said. If you are not, then it's very hard to get through this particular process because now you are not charging your tablet. As you can see, you are using the dock. But what I think is after you have done the initial setup, meaning after you have, have all the files ready and stuff, when they start rebooting and, and stuff, then that is where you can pluck out your what do you call that? Your dock and let it continue to set up while you're charging your tablet. That would help. So we will need to just get through the initial portion for this. So for here, you just click on the normal next. Well, I need to accept first, sorry. Accept and do a next. Then this upgrade or this one is to do a custom install. So now since we are doing a clean install, we'll do a custom one. So if you look at it, this, uh, as I'm already running in Windows 10, so all this stuff will be standard partition where they have created. So what, where we're going to install will be this one on the last, last one here. So let me just adjust the screen a bit. Okay, now that looks better. So what, what happened is that if you are running uh, the first time, after you upgrade to Windows 10 and stuff, if this is the first time you're running, then you can actually remove all the recovery partition and, and, and just install it again and they'll create the other tree 
partition and you can install the last one so what you need to do next will be just click on the next button then they will tell you that it's going to be clean da, 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 the window yeah so you can do that or you can actually delete everything and, and set up set it up again so basically end of day, if i want to do it again then i'll just do a delete okay then you can delete everything if you want to delete you can even delete the recovery space and delete and you have an allocated space now so you can actually do a new everything apply then they will create the partition accordingly so once they are doing that once you are done it'll take a bit of time for this uh, so when we are done we have all the partition ready so we install into the latest primary partition the, the only reason why you are doing that because you don't have to keep the old windows partition right so what you need to do is just click on next then they'll start copying files and all those when they are doing after finishing up process when they do the first reboot that's where you can actually plug out the OTG, OTG uh, hub that you have and actually plug into the power source for them to continue on with the process when the process is completed then um, you'll need to plug in OTG again to install the drivers and stuff for your uh, uh, touchscreen as well as your rotation lock and then some other audio related drivers so we'll just let this finish this will take a while we'll come back after this okay, once you are done with the uh, getting files ready for installation they will be like finishing up all the uh, installation process so once this is done they will get rebooted and continue on with the installation so that is when you can actually plug out the OTG cable and leave it to charge while it's completes its setup so when it's completed you'll find that the touch is not working the uh, the screen can't be rotated so that's where you need to install the uh, drivers from HP itself in order to make everything works again so let's just wait it out the only difference between this one and the clean install is that the clean install itself when the upgrade process happens we are not too sure when we can actually do pluck out the drive itself but for this one once you get restarted into the second screen most probably you can do that so okay just remember when you finish off the process when you have the time to uh, restart seven seconds and stuff I mean they are restarting there's a time when you should pluck out your USB drive so that they will put into the standard setup process rather than they boot, they boot via the USB drive again for your setup so now it's restarted again after I pluck out the uh, OTG drive so they are actually now doing continuing on with the setup so you just let the setup to complete and you are more or less done so now is the time where you can actually plug in a charger to your tablet for it to continue the process of setup and make sure that to make sure that, to ensure that your tablet is not shut down middle in the midway and stuff right so so we'll come back after all the setup has been completed <clears throat> okay once you have the startup completed now as you see we can't actually do anything to it because the touch screen driver everything is not there so you will still need to plug in your OTG mouse and they will go through the driver installation so you can click yes for this then they will continue on with the setup keyboard US keyboard yes then skip for now and we just need to go past the setup screen now there's a network that we need to put in so I'll need to connect to a network okay once we are connected to the network we will just need to click on next again to go through the uh, whether there's any updates and stuff you just follow the on-screen instruction for the remaining setup when you reach this screen you can either sign in with your microsoft account or an offline account it's totally up to you so let's continue on with the setup process okay once you have done with the login basically they ask you whether you want to set a pin this one we can just do this later and then move on
on to the setup process, link phone to PCs and stuff, we can still do this later. And there are some now on the services side, they will continue on with the setup. So once we are done with the setup screen, we will proceed to the driver installation to enable the touch driver and stuff. So we just put a yes for this, Cortana. This one you can just leave it or you, it's up to you, we can change that later on. You can just accept this. And the, uh, as you can see, it will get start up again, getting everything ready for you and stuff. So uh, we will continue after the we reach the desktop itself. Okay, so once you have reached this, this page here, so what you need to do now is to close it off. So be reminded, please have the drivers downloaded. I'll leave a link down below of the drivers. So currently it resides in the uh, over here. So I'll just copy out the driver first. So I just copy and I just place it under the downloads folder for now. So I'll just paste it in. This is just to make sure that it goes faster after that. So there will be a lot of drivers. There's audio drivers, there are graphic drivers, there are keyboard mouse, input devices driver, the touch control drivers, there are network drivers as well, there are BIOS, update and all those stuff, firmware, plus execute engine, tonics engine. There are there are quite a lot of drivers for well, that's released by HP for that. So once we are in here, there is a list of stuff that I've downloaded. You can choose not to install everything, but um, you'll just see. But I think the main thing will be the touch drivers and the and the graphic drivers. I think touch control drivers as well as the chipset graphic media controller pack and stuff. So advisably, you should install all this stuff. Let's just start off with the first one. So this is a BIOS utility update. Uh, I've actually updated the BIOS. So. I'll skip for this round, but if you want to update the BIOS of your tablet, HP Stream 7, you can do that. Just follow the instruction for this, and you should be able to update the uh, BIOS. So we'll just cancel this, then we'll move on to the next one. This is a Chronic G sensor. I think this is for the rotation, accelerometer. So what you need to do is just to click next and continue on with the installation. So once we are done with this, we'll move on to the next one. So as long as you install the drivers in, your Stream 7 should work as per out of box. <clears throat> this will be a chipset, graphic camera order. This is one of the important ones. This one should be installed so that to make sure everything in your drivers works, right? So in your tablet, Stream 7 mini tablet will work. So cameras, audio, graphics, chipset. So it's all in one package. So once you have installed this, most of the stuff will be working. So you just let it finish. Okay, so now this is done. Um, advisable, now you should actually restart the computer to actually let the thing sit in because it's one of the biggest driver patch that it will have. So when this driver is installed, it's uh, advisable to restart once to come and follow uh, after that uh, continue on the other driver's installation. So now we should do a finish and just restart the machine one more time. So now it's restarting. As you can see now, you can actually do the screen rotation so we have that thing done so now the next thing is to do a touch driver and all those stuff so that waits for the reboot to finish and we'll go back continue on with the process so now that it's restarted you can switch back to the desktop mode so that um, we can continue on with the process so as you can see standard setup stuff I will normally move this as a Cortana icon so it's, just, it's easier so as you can see this is the now the touch the touch is the touch is more or less working now so everything should work now so but we still have other drivers that we might want to actually do so let's just click on the properties and see is there any other drivers that is needed to be installed
as you can see all the drivers are already been installed so once you have the camera pack and stuff done you virtually have everything done up so but basically just for the sake of putting in so we will need to see so for example the drivers that we have we was up to here if you go by the dates we was up to here just now so this one should be the BIOS one which I think we can actually skip you can take a look what is that that is the real tech or yeah if you want you can install this but these are all the new drivers from HP itself so it's up to you whether you want to install it but since it's all the latest driver from HP itself my advice is to just install everything to make sure that all the hidden drivers are working sometimes it might not show up in the device manager because it's already a driver installed but that doesn't mean that there's no extra features that you that is missing right so the advice is to do that so for now onwards you can just leave no for this finish and just go on the next one this one should be the BIOS BIOS is this good X so, okay this is a touch driver just now we have installed one but they say it's failed so we can actually try another round so they're updating the driver for this so now everything is installed successfully as compared to the first round right so we can close this off then we can actually go on to all the other uh, the drivers that we have this one will be the bluetooth driver so we'll just next just reinstall all the drivers and we will do another reboot later to finish off the process so you can put no for this finish it and there's two more to go these are all the drivers that i downloaded from the hp website so i'll leave a link down below later where you guys can download the same stuff this one is a wireless LAN driver Okay, now we will proceed with the next installation, uh, the last driver. So let's double click on that and let it boot up. So the next one would be the Trusted Attribution Engine Interface. We will just accept the last one and um, finish off the process. Okay, then we just need to click on next, accept the terms, next, next let the install finish then we'll do a final reboot of the HP Stream 7 and we're all good to go okay so now what we can do now is you if you want to you can actually restart the computer now so you just finish and do a restart okay we are done booting up so what we can do now is to exit the tablet mode first as you can see now we have exited the tablet mode and all the touch stuff are working at the point of time so you can actually touch here you can actually touch here and the stuff and you can close close this back close it again touch on the screen okay so now what we are done for the clean installation for the hp stream 7 and you do do have any question just uh, leave a comment down below i'll try to answer them for you um, if you like the video of what i'm doing for this uh, just give it a thumbs up and do subscribe for more future updates on WebOS products and also my Nexus products. And that concludes the video of the clean install for Windows 10 Fall Creators Update. So I hope to see you again soon. Bye!